<laughs> hey, hey YouTube, I'm back. This is another quick video. I, it's late. It's like two o'clock. My sleeping pills kicking in, but I it's a thought ran across my mind, and <laughs> I was thinking about how people say this is the last days. We living in the last days, and people have been saying that all my life and probably all everybody's on just forever and ever but when i was younger i didn't say that and didn't want nobody to say that because i, I would say dog i ain't had a chance to live and it's the last days but i'm thinking now older people and probably people who are in the church and trying to live saved and barely hanging on they want jesus to come on and get them for they backslide but if uh <laughs> this is the last days because we older people know it is actually our last days it may not be that the, it's the last days of the world and it's our last days and that's why we this is the last days. This is the last days. And it makes me laugh when I really think about it because when I was younger and in the church, all these old saints, they would say that every time they uh, tell their testimony. I want to thank the Lord for being here and thank the Lord for life, health, and strength. And I, I know we're living in the last days. And Jesus soon to come. And Lord, you need to be ready. And I'm just saying, I he could come on back, but at least I want to live a little bit. I want to get married, have children. I want to experience life. So I didn't like it when they would say that. And I'm looking at older people now. And that's all they talk about. But the old people and the serious religious people are seriously religious and not really walking their christian life steadfast and on steady feet they don't they they want jesus to hurry up and come on because they barely holding on because they know they about to backslide and go back to courting women and men or whatever they used to do next week so jesus need to come on it's kind of like have you ever been um somebody said they're gonna come get you I'll be there at 11 o'clock. You get dressed at 10.30. You dressed and ready to go. You looking at the clock. We all got 30 more minutes before they get here. So you kind of relax a little bit, but you, you don't take off your clothes. At 11 o'clock, ain't nobody showed up. And you get kind of worried. You say, well, dog, where they at? At 11.30, they still ain't showed up. You getting kind of pissed. But you don't take off your clothes because they might show up. But you are really getting angry. And that's a, a real life scenario. But when you, I say after two hours, you say, fuck it, they ain't coming. I'm going to take off these clothes. They're not answering my call or nothing. So they ain't coming. But people that's waiting on Jesus to come, they can't say that. They may get you know, disgusted and angry. And some of these Christians really sound like they mad because Jesus ain't came. Lord, we're waiting on you. Really, come on. <laughs> but I was just thinking about it because I was listening to somebody's video and that's all they were hollering about. Lord, come on. We're waiting on you. We call you and, and the more we pray, the more he'll come. But these are the older people. And actually, the last days, uh it's really your last days on earth yeah when you die you are spending your last days so i'm not saying i don't believe in well <laughs> the, what is that the rapture and all that old good old stuff i just know that i'm living right now and it's it's still an exciting journey and i'm not i don't know i'm not looking forward to walking around heaven all day and praising God and singing songs and beating tambourines because I come up in the Holiness Church and those folks did not know how to stop the music. One time they stopped if the electricity went out in the church house. 
and they blow a fuse on the guitars, and all these Holy Ghost people that were in the spirit, they immediately stopped dancing. So that's all I got to say, but I was just thinking about that. Is this the last days? Bye.